Okay, so we're on a little bit of a road trip. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Thursday or, yeah, Thursday I ended up getting to Kelowna for Pat and Allie's wedding. Congratulations, guys. Now, it's Saturday morning. I'm driving 350 kilometers or so to Vancouver, loading up. Then what I'm going to do is jump onto a ferry, head towards uh, Qualcomm Beach, hang out with my brother and my nephews and things, and then drive another two hours or so to Tofino, um, which is beautiful. So stay tuned. I'll do a, a little updates as, as we go, but here we are in lovely merit. So it took about three hours up to Willingdon and then an hour or hour 15 to go 13 kilometers through Vancouver up to North Van. And now the Nanaimo sails held, so probably is sailing behind. Uh, I will get to the island when I get to the island. Okay, so it's 5 a.m. Nobody's up. It's really early. I made it to Qualcomm Beach. That's where my brother lives. Now, this is one side of the island. Now I'm gonna drive all the way to the other side of the island. It's about two hours or so, two hours, 20 minutes from here. I'm gonna grab a coffee, I'm gonna smack it down. We're gonna rock and roll. The race is at 9 a.m. The road to Tofino is crazy. So if you haven't been to Tofino, you should drive it. Lions and tigers, well, maybe not lions and tigers, but bears, oh my. And look at this. Lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. Okay, so I'm joined by Lara. Uh, she's the race organizer, and she's going to tell me a lot more about the race, although I just finished. So our race today, um, we run the top trail on Vancouver Island, the Well Pacific Trail, which is very well known, and it's the top, number one trail in um, Vancouver Island, the top trend trail in BC. And our we are thinking about putting a challenge out to Bear Mountain because I just noticed that they were um, they put out that they were the hardest marathon on Vancouver Island, uh, but I tend to disagree. So the challenge is out there between the Edge to Edge Marathon and you heard that, Bear Mountain, Mountain. Marathon. Um, we have lots of hills. We're a very tough marathon. Um, we had over 500 participants today, and everyone is very happy. Beautiful, sunshiny day. Three or so kilometers in, whoever told me <clears throat> you cue it was flat, has another thing coming. Quite the hill, already just rolling hills. But keep pushing. Four kilometers in. And gotta mention my gratitude. I always mention my gratitude. I'm grateful for Pat and Allie Woods. Congratulations on getting married. They got married this past Friday. It's Sunday. Remember, excuses are only in your mind. Change your mindset, change your mind.
So, who are you grateful for? Comment in the description box below. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Because everybody's asking me, why am I doing these races? And it's not about me, it's about everybody else. The more that I do these, these races, the more exposure it gets for the people putting them on, the more exposure for the city, the town, the race organizers. So follow me, I'll do a race a month, but for right now I just need to finish the Uculet one. So this is camera two, second angle, other arm. I don't know, how to be interesting. So I've been having shin splints on the right angle. You just saw me put on some compression socks. They seem to be working, I'm in about nine kilometers. I'm just gassed because it's just like down and up and down and up and down and up. It's not consistent, but keep pushing forward. This is the point of the race where certain people start to hit a wall, but it's all about being positive. It's all about positive always trumps negativity. High five, sweaty hugs. Help people along the way. If they're struggling, help them. It's like that for everything. Okay, so what's your name? Stephanie. Good job, Stephanie. <laughs> Without the volunteers, these races wouldn't happen. Thank you, volunteers. Time to refuel. Time to refuel. Thank you. We got this. Good work, guys. Here. So there's somebody in front of you. You tie a rope to them. Okay. And they pull you. And then you turn off the part of your brain that says, oh my god, my legs are tired. And you just let that person pull you. Currently, there's no one in front of us. Nope. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Stephanie Dyer on Facebook. Uh, oh. It's really hot out here. In my belly, though. Can you get your legs? Legs are getting heavy. Deep in your breath. Focus on your legs. Put the weight in your legs. Even going up these gnarly hills.
this is the time of the race you cheer on other people. You're awesome! It helps you to get going. There's been studies on it. I'll provide a link in a blog post about this. Be as positive as you can. Work through the pain. No excuses, right? This is my fourth half marathon in 45 days. No excuses. Out of the four races, Oak Bay, Westwear, uh, Vancouver, BMO, and you cue it. This is the hardest race. But it's all just a mindset. You gotta keep going, breathe through so many rolling hills. And it's also really warm outside. Hey, how you doing? I was told the finish is around the corner. We all love the finish. And it's downhill. Woulda, shoulda, coulda, did. Hi, thank you. Good video. Clean, but cheers. Good job! Say cheese. <laughs> now go comment, like, subscribe! Go find them. So I will provide a detailed description of where to find these guys, where to register for next year, and everything else. I suggest do the, do the drive, hang out in UQ it, and you'll love it. And you know what else? If you register for 2019 from now until the end of June, you get entered into an a prize pack of a flight from Vancouver to Long Beach Airport, um, two nights accommodation at Water's Edge Suites, uh, gift certificates to a local restaurant in town, Cedar Grill, and some passes for the aquarium. Okay, so description box below, you'll be able to find that link. So I love what these girls are doing and she's going to tell me a lot more about it. Talk to me. And um, we have campaigns and programs that they aim at producing single year plastic. So we have a big water jug here that we're mainly focusing on at this event is to try and get used to our spread of single use water bottles. So that's our next push. And we have different campaigns. <laughs> cleanup. So once a month we have a beach cleanup in either Tabino or Yukulit or within the national park. We also do remote cleanups on the island. So yep. try and have a stitch and beach program so we sew these fabric bags out of um, old donated fabrics so or sheets or any other materials from hotels and, and people in the community yep. and then we sew them with volunteers and donate them back to the community so that they can take those bags to you instead of you're really good at this 